Hi guys, it's me again this week. Um, I actually had a few requests for another Kyla's Kitchen video and so I thought I would show you how I make my Slimming World quiche. It's kind of what I refer to as a breakfast pie. It's a Slimming World quiche with a bit of a twist um, because I don't really like the things that go into a regular Slimming World quiche but this kind of does follow the plan still. So I'm going to show you how I make it um, and hopefully you enjoy this. It's really, really simple to make, really yummy for breakfast and yeah, I have it all the time in my vlogs which is why I've had some requests for it. So yeah. Yeah, here it is. So I've started off by greasing this ramekin. Um, I've always done like an oven proof dish, whatever. Um, and I've used, get it to show you, Fry Light olive oil. You can use whatever you want, but that's the one that I've used in the interest of keeping it as Slimming World friendly as possible. Next step is to line that oven proof dish with bacon. I'm using lean bacon, but you could use whatever you want. Again, just in the interest of keeping it as close to Slimming World as possible. And the camera refuses to focus. There we go, um, that's why I've done. So I'm now gonna put it in the oven for around 10 minutes because I never trust that it's gonna cook fully, especially because this bacon's really thickly cut. I never trust that it's gonna cook fully with the egg on top. So I'm just going to uh, put it in the oven for 10 minutes to cook a little bit first. While that's in the oven, I have mixed together, well, I beat six eggs. I normally do six eggs and I'm a little bit concerned that the amount of uh, bacon that's in there might mean this is too much mixture but we'll see. So six eggs, I cut up some mushrooms. This works just as well with broccoli or another vegetable but mushrooms since I'm doing it kind of for breakfast and then my um, measured amount of light cheese. Now you can use whatever cheese you want and obviously if you're not following Slimming World then it doesn't really matter um, but obviously for the Slimming World part of this I would recommend you figure out how many portions you're going to make and then um, measure out the amount that you can have per day and you can have that times by how many more portions it is. Um, so yeah I try to kind of stay below that so I can have a little bit more cheese in my diet that day. Uh, and then salt and pepper and that's it so I'm going to mix that up and when the bacon comes out I'm going to pour that in. So here's the bacon kind of crust that's come out of the oven and then I'm gonna put in the mixture and hope it doesn't overflow. Then I'll just spread that out to make sure I've got an even amount of kind of mushrooms and cheese, etc. everywhere and then put that back in the oven for another 10 minutes. Okay, so I actually left it in for 20 minutes. I think I always do that and I just forgot because halfway through I looked at it and had a major moment where I was like, oh, this is not going very well because it looked really liquidy, but actually it just needed 20 minutes in the oven. Um, so I probably would recommend with the bacon putting it in for five because as you can see, the edges of the bacon that are exposed are a little bit crusty now. Uh, but anyway, not super appetizing looking right now, but I'm gonna cut it up and serve it and show you what it actually looks like inside. And trust me, it's delicious. So here it is plated up. I always have it with beans. This is also a thing from Slimming World because beans are supposed to be kind of fast slimming foods. Um, now this is not something that I, I don't follow the plan kind of strictly. I'm very, very vague with it. And I know that you have, you're supposed to have um, a third of vegetables with the extra easy plan, which is technically not because I don't think mushrooms count. Um, but if you do want to put in different kind of vegetables, you can. I have used it with broccoli, like I say. I'll post a picture of this now because it was really, really delicious. And I'd have it in exactly the same way. I'd still eat it at breakfast. But anything that you make that's in this kind of format is really nice to have in the fridge. You can just go and get a piece, warm it up. And whenever you're feeling a little bit peckish, it's kind of an all-in-one meal rather than you going and um, having something you maybe shouldn't have or being put off making something that's going to take ages. It's just already there for you, a pre-done thing. So, yeah. If you make this, please show me your versions. Please send me a tweet or an Instagram. Show me what versions you've come up with. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful. And I hope you do try it because it's really, really yummy and super easy. And if I hadn't put any vegetables or mushrooms inside it, all of my family would eat it. So good for the whole family, really, if they're not too picky eaters.